Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about conditional formatting. Now, what is condition formatting? So when you apply some kind of format to your dashboards or reports, whether it be a font color or a background color or, or whatever it is, right? That formatting is static. But what conditional formatting enables you to do is to make that formatting dynamic. It will format the color or other elements based on the logic that you have provided. Now, Power BI interface has been changed a lot in past couple of months. So they have changed this particular feature as well in a drastic way. So earlier when you inserted a chart or any uh, graphical element into your canvas, we used to have a specific section named as conditional formatting, but now you don't receive it anymore. So for today, the data set that we're using uh, is an happiness data index that I downloaded from Kaggle. However, I have added two more rows to it. First one is a color column, which checks the average number of ranking each country received from 2016 till 2022 and then tag them accordingly in terms of color, right? And then another one, which is a URL, which takes you to the Wikipedia page of that particular country. Now you'll find the links in the description if you want to download and follow along with me. Now let's quickly create a chart and see the conditional formatting in action. So I'm going to use this rank average column and I'm going to use this country column. Okay. Let's sort this in ascending order so that we see the top ranking countries first. Now in Power BI, whenever you want to format anything, you need to come to this formatting pane here. So earlier we used to have a conditional formatting section in this particular list, but now we don't have instead what we have is let's say you want to format the columns that are there in this series, right? So just click on this column and wherever you see this FX button, this signifies that that particular element of the visual can have a conditional formatting applied to it. And if you ask me, that is pretty smart because it saves a lot of space for Power BI and from an interface point of view, it integrates pretty well. Now, the moment you click there, you will see a prompt. In essence, in conditional formatting, there are three types of formatting. Okay. So the first formatting style is gradient, uh, which you see here in the dot down here, gradient. And what this does is it gives you a gradient scale of color formatting. You can choose the field that you want this gradient to be based on. So right now it's based on rank average. Summarization is sum. You can keep this as sum or keep this as count, average, anything you like. And then it asks how should we format empty values. You can say as zero or don't format or whatever it is, right? Then you can specify a minimum value. Okay, so right now it's automatically detecting what was the lowest value and then assigning it this sky blue color. Okay, let's say I want to color it as a light shade of purple and the highest value, a dark shade of purple. I can also add a middle color. So let's say I want the gradient to start from light purple, then have some other color in between and then the highest value to have some other color, right? There is also an option instead of choosing lowest value, I can choose a custom value and enter a value here. Okay. So the minimum being, let's say a zero and the highest value, whatever it is, right? If I know that value, I can hard code that else I can keep this as lowest value and press. Okay. So if you see accordingly, it has formatted my values. Now let's see the other option. Again, I'm going to click on this FX and come to this prompt again, and I'm going to select the, uh, the second formatting style is rules. This is where you can apply your custom rules to your conditional format. So let's say you want to apply a specific logic to the numbers that you have in your data. So I'm going to, I want to say if the value is greater than or equal to zero, I'm going to keep it as number and is less than let's say five, then a sky blue color. I'm going to add one more condition. So I've added all three conditions here and press OK. Now if I scroll, you can see all the values have been accordingly formatted. 
Now let's see the third formatting style, which is field value. Now, initially I had shown you that I have added two columns to it. First one is a color column where I've assigned a color to each row of the data, right? So we can use that to our advantage. So whatever color you have in this data. So I have red, orange, and green here. You can have other colors as well. The entire list of colors that you can use will be there in the link that I posted in the description. So do check that out. But right now let's keep it simple, red, orange, and green. So each row item has a color assigned to it. I can use this text color string to format my chart series. Okay, so I'm going to click on this FX again and I'm going to come to my field values and in this I'm going to search that column name which was called as assigned colors. Keep the summarization as default, you don't have to change it and I'm going to press OK. As you see, it has formatted my series based on the colors that I had in the row items. Now let me delete this chart from here and instead I'm going to insert a table. When you have a table like this, the conditional formatting that you can apply to this will be found in this section which is called cell elements. So I'm gonna say apply setting to country or region which is fine and I can apply a background color to it by enabling this and I'm gonna say gradient color and okay. Also I can choose to have an icon in this table by clicking on this icon section and in the new prompt I'm gonna say uh, again field that should be based on would be countries and instead of this I'm gonna choose let's say rank average so you can choose to align your icon based on your requirements and below in the below section you can change the rules that apply to your data which helps it activate those icons I'm gonna change the icon a little bit so that it makes sense and press ok and I'm gonna sort this based on rank average so that the top ranking one comes at the top now you see if you see I have added my icons beside the country or region column. I can also choose to have only the icon instead of the values. So just select icon only from the icon layout and press OK and the country name will disappear and only the icon will be there in that column. Now I'm going to revert it back. Now one very nice feature I think which is there in condition formatting Power BI is the ability to add web URLs to your row items. So if you see in the data I have added a particular URL to each row item based on the country that row represents okay so it's a wikipedia link that i have for each row now i can use that link to get added to this row item using the web url condition formatting so i'm gonna turn this on and in the field value section i'm gonna select the url column that i have and press ok now if you see each row item has a particular link attached to it so whenever a user comes in and click on that particular link it will take them to the url that you have in that row item directly and open the browser to display that particular url cool right so that is it for today let me know in the comment section what else do you think can be done with conditional formatting and what else you want me to cover in conditional formatting so that if you require i can go much more detail in this particular topic so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one